My life was slowly spiralling out of control. It just seemed like I had opened myself up to an evil presence that would follow me around. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and today I am so flipping excited to be sharing this with you. Like I just can't wait to get into it. And if you enjoy the video, consider subscribing down below, leaving a like, leaving a comment and make sure to follow my socials too. I upload every single Friday so make sure you check back then. So today I am actually sharing my mum's testimony with you. I really tried to get her to do it herself and say it herself but she just didn't really want to talk in front of her camera which is totally understandable so she's written it out for me if you're interested in hearing my testimony i actually i did a video on it a while ago but this story is so incredible and i'm just so amazed at god's goodness and if it does encourage you or if maybe it makes you kind of interested in getting to know this amazing guy called jesus then let me know because i really want to talk to you about that and that is just so cool i'm gonna stop waffling she's written it out for me so I'm just gonna read it straight. This is in her words, so let's go. Growing up in a Catholic home, I had some knowledge about God. I was baptized, had my first communion and was confirmed. I remember always feeling so sin conscious, like I was just not good enough. Everything was performance based. It was all about being a good person and just not sinning. We would go into a little box and we would tell the priest our sins. And depending on the sins or the amount of sins, we would be given a list of prayers as if that would make it all okay. Sometimes I couldn't even think of a sin that I had done in the week, so I just made it up. Though it was great growing up in an Italian community and being part of lots of different Catholic festivals. When I was 14, everything changed. I experienced the sudden death of my mother and this left me feeling really empty and I started to question what life was all about. I developed an interest in the occult as I falsely believed that through this I could contact the dead, so I started to the Ouija board in my room alone. I became fascinated with the supernatural and this continued all the way through college. Me and my friends would often meet up together and do the Ouija board. I became obsessed with tarot card reading, astrology and mediums. My life was slowly spiralling out of control. It just seemed like I had opened myself up to an evil presence that would follow me around. Bad things were continuing to happen to my family. My sister had a complete mental breakdown at the age of 17. My other sister, who wasn't at the home at the time, was suffering from depression and drug abuse. My father met a woman online and left the family home to stay with her, leaving me, a vulnerable 16 year old, and my sister to basically fend for ourselves. At the age of 18, I ended up moving to London, hoping to find happiness in a new city. But instead, I just felt lonely. I began to drink, take drugs, and just get involved in unhealthy relationships. Looking back now, God was putting people in my path to try and help me, as the home I was living in London was a young women's Christian association. I remember looking at some of the Christian teenagers and thinking, why are they always so happy? But they would always end up annoying me when they talked about God, as I wasn't in a position to listen to what they had to say. A year had passed, so at this point she was about 19, and at this point I just wanted to go back home. I had no money, I was very lonely, and I had just had enough of life in London. So I moved back home. At this point my dad had started going to a Pentecostal church. He asked me if I wanted to go with him. I was reluctant but I knew that I needed help and something needed to change. After going a few times I noticed how different it was to the Catholic church I had been brought up in. The Catholic church never really preached the message of love. I didn't hear that I was loved until I had joined this church. One Sunday the pastor asked if anyone wanted to give their life to Jesus. I thought to myself, if I don't do something now, my life is just going to spiral out of control. So I went to the front and immediately I felt a peace and a love that I have never ever experienced before. That evil presence that was taking over my life and causing bad things to happen suddenly had no control over me anymore. I realised at this point that Jesus truly came to set the captives free, as it says in Luke 4.18, which I actually have my Bible here. So 
I will read it to you. So Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. For the first time ever, I knew that Jesus was real and that I was forgiven. I had felt his forgiveness, his love, his peace and his joy. I soon went on to meet my husband and now have five amazing, what can I say? <laughs> healthy, blessed children. I can now truly see God's blessing on my family. So that is my mum's story and it's just so incredible. It blows me away every time I hear it. She has seen the before and after from feeling empty and hopeless and scared and vulnerable into being this strong, beautiful, wonderful, influential person. It just filters into her life. She loves people so well and she's always trying to find ways to share her story with people because she knows the transformative power of Jesus and I seriously I used to look at her and be like wow you're you're so strong and just amazing for coming through that and just wow like you went through so much crap and you just came out the other side while that is true like my mum is so strong and incredible I've realized over time that it wasn't down to her like Jesus transformed her Jesus changed the trajectory of her life and now she lives with greater purpose greater freedom with peace love and joy in her heart and with a relationship and such a heart for God and for people and I feel like there's something in that story that can resonate with all of us like all of us are searching for something to just fill that gap like fill that void for my mum it was first the occult and like astrology and all these things and mediums and then it was drink and drugs and unhealthy relationships and that might look different for you maybe it is astrology maybe it is drinks and drugs maybe it's parties maybe you thrive off attention from people maybe you thrive off spending loads of money and buying loads of material goods and all of us are just desperate one to be connected to something and two to have control over something it might not be as extreme as what my mum has experienced but I do believe all of us are looking for that void to be filled and I will tell you right now the only thing that is going to feel that emptiness inside that disconnect that somehow just something isn't clicking in your life the only thing that is going to fix that is Jesus and coming to know Jesus he loves you so flipping much and he desperately just wants to be in relationship with you and just wants you to know how loved you are, how cherished you are. God created you, he designed you in the womb and he loves you so passionately. With religion and everything, we just let so many things get in the way and, and this is not to bash any Catholics out there, but my mum, when she was a Catholic, she was striving. She was like, I need to do better. I need to stop sinning. I just need to be a better and a good person. That's just not not the nature of God whatsoever and anything you're going through right now it is not the end there is a father in heaven who loves and adores you and if you want to know that love today if you want to know that peace and that joy then reach out to me send me a message things might seem really tough for you right now like life might suck right now it might feel like this is the end that is hopeless or you just feel that disconnect inside you just feel like what is the point of life the point is that God created you to be in relationship with him and until that happens you are never gonna feel satisfied if you are created for a purpose and you are not living out that purpose of course you are just not gonna feel like anything makes sense everything clicked when I encountered God for myself everything just came together God loves you and we have all done bad things, we've all done things that fall short of his standards, but he sent Jesus to die for us. If you choose to accept that today, you will know a greater love, a greater freedom that you have never experienced before and never will experience from anything else that the world could offer you. Thank you for lending your ear to my mum's testimony and you are cherished, you are adored, you are a prize and you are here for a reason. I love you so much and I am so grateful for you. Beautiful people, peace out.